conversions are, are a little bit more attractive to the general public. Um, the idea, uh, it's fairly simple. I mean, it, it's a, a, several batteries are added to the um, vehicle. Uh, those batteries are then providing direct power, direct current to the engine. Um, small transmissions modifications are needed because you actually have a system where it's a direct drive. The power is a continuous band. It's not like in a um, typical vehicle where you have a power band between 2,000 and 4,000 RPMs and then less on either side of that. With batteries, it's a, it's a straight line, basically. Um, so there's some changes that need to be made in uh, your driving habits and the transmission. Um, and then also you need to ensure that you have access to uh, 240 volt uh, electrical outlets. So similar to what you'd have for your dryer or something like that. If your driving schedule is more erratic it's, or you have a longer commute, the electrical vehicle conversion is not the way to go. Um, better to go hybrid or diesel uh, at that point if you're going to be driving over 60 to 80 miles a day on, on a regular basis. So first that is the assessment and then um, your, your power demands, um, you know, whether you're going to be trying to get up to highway speed on your way to work or whether you just have a short, slow, sort of suburban commute, basically, that would kind of drive your, your decision on how many batteries to get and, um, you know, what type of car to do the conversion in.